guys, it's Linda. So the nerd in me is super excited to come to you today with a weird tool review. Oh. I found this little doohickey online. Now, I love looking into, you know, 40s, 50s kind of makeup and the stuff they use to put it on and make the faces all glamorous like. This is called the um, Glamour Lips Hollywood Lipstick Applicator. So really, really weird, and I want to test it out for the first time with you guys to see if it's uh, insane. So this is what the tool looks like. It sort of almost resembles an eyelash curler. It is metal, but it's got this uh, arch right here that resembles, hey, look at that, a cupid's bow. Oh, or a mustache. Oh, ho, 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 sir, yes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> One of the coolest parts that it came with though was the how-to guide. Let me unfold this so you guys can see. So it goes ahead and tells you exactly how to use it. So we're gonna give it a try using these exact instructions and see what we come up with. Okay, let's see. So instruction number one, completely cover the inside flat surface of your applicator with lipstick. For this, I'm going to be using MAC's Strange Journey lipstick from the Rocky Horror Show collection. And uh, you're supposed to coat it all on the inside. I'm gonna try using a matte, so let's give this a shot. Oh. Because you're rubbing this on metal, it seems like it's hard to get an even application. I'm gonna go in with the brush and the lipstick and try it out, see if that does any better. Maybe it'll make a little bit of a thicker coating. Slightly better, but still kind of streaky. See what I mean? It's not really caked on there, but you know, that's what they tell you to do. Next, it says, smooth out the lipstick evenly with your finger or the lipstick. Wipe off the surplus off the top edge, so. I feel like I'm just taking the lipstick off the thing, so let's put on some more. Instruction number three, lips should be dry and powdered. I put a little powder on mine. Now, part your lips and draw them back as you would when you usually apply lipstick. I don't usually draw my lips back, but I'm gonna do what they tell me to do. Or just like this, like Mrs. Doubtfire without her teeth. Number four, the curve of the Cupid's bow can be varied by drawing your lips back during application. Now move the bottom of the handle to or from the chin to line up the ends of the applicator with the corners of your mouth. Okay, so, I guess there, I guess. Number five, place the applicator on your upper lip where the outline is meant to be. Now press and allow a moment for the lipstick to become warm, and then with a gentle pressure, pull your applicator down. Here we go. This doesn't fit on the corner of my lip. Look, how do I? I, I uh, eh, 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 eh. Oh, <laughs> that made a surprisingly good Cupid's bow. It's not the worst. Um, now press your lips together, moving and rubbing the lower lip in and out as you would normally do. This will distribute it. You will now have a glamorous, fresh looking and perfectly shaped lipstick outline. This modern makeup technique will prevent embarrassing lipstick smears and will assure you of having beautiful lips shaped to perfection. Now, this little guy did give a neat little shape on the top, but I think maybe if I had a liquid lipstick that I could cake on here and do this with, it would look much better because it did give a nice little Cupid's bow. I do like it, but I mean, I'm kind of a snob. I need to go back in there. Uh, there's not enough lipstick on here. You can see too much of the actual lip. Okay, see, this is how I like my lipstick. I like it to be opaque and no skin showing through, so I'm wondering if there's some tips and tricks to this that I can try, but hey, it's fun and it'll look really cute on my vanity. So tell me, have you ever seen the uh, Hollywood lipstick applicator? Is there something I should be doing that I'm not? I don't know, this is just a really cool little thing to have. So let me know what kind of beauty tools that you have found from, you know, 50s, 60s, hey, maybe even the 20s or the 10s, whatever. I love finding out about old ways to apply makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. That is all glitter fallout. I love you guys so, so much. You are super rock stars. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.